All right, what's going on, on America? This is Kevin and Kevin's Corner, and I am down here in Arizona, and I'm sitting here with one of the baddest men on YouTube, David Harris. I love his stuff, okay? I've been listening to his stuff. Thank you, my brother. I've been listening to him for a long time now, sharing this video. You know why? Because the man makes sense. I was telling the amazing Lucas a few minutes ago that the more I look at some of the nonsense that's been coming out of some of the liberals, I feel like conservatives are the next link in the evolutionary chain. <laughs> I really do. I'm like, they really like to be high. You know, just like, I guess, it seems like it. It seems like that because I'm going, a, a normal evolving human should be able to see through some of the garbage that's going on right now. You know, should be able to see through it. Exactly. And, and, and so, when I see people making arguments against things that goes against their own self interest, I say, either Either you have been willfully ignorant, or you don't have the ability to see that that's a problem. You know, the other thing, I was actually talking to Mason Weaver. Uh -huh. He's in his 60s, I believe. He's been in this fight trying to wake up black America uh, for decades. But he was a black man that was rioting, it was, uh, that was at the at Berkeley uh, back in the 60s, 70s. Yeah. And uh, 70 somewhere there. Right, yeah. Um, and he said that when he did wake up, he didn't want to because he didn't want to be wrong. He didn't want to admit he had been wrong. And so it took him a while to actually finally build up the courage because it takes courage to, do, to say, you know what? I've been wrong. Right. Yeah. It takes courage to say, I've been wrong. And I need to, I need to come out and admit that. And it's almost like I also had a gay man on my show uh, that came out as a conservative, and he said it was like coming out of the closet as a gay man. Yeah, that's what it is. I joke about it and say, you know, especially black people, they got to come out as conservatives. It's like coming out of the closet. You go to your friends like, oh, that. I got something. It's, it's, it's real bad. I got to sit down. They, 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 they might beat you to it. Are you gay, son? If you're gay, it's okay. We'll take We'll still love you. You're like, no, mom, I'm not gay. Oh, thank heavens. So what is it? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. I wish you were gay. I've been better off to you. know, unbelievable, man. You know, and I think. Oh, it's too, horrible. It's, it's really horrible. horrible. You know, and, and I think sometimes with the black community, when I talk to a lot of them, they are so invested in their hate towards Trump and, and, and their loyalty, blind loyalty towards the Democratic Party. They get to that old school, like your father, he might be wrong, but he say, I'm, I'm right if I'm wrong, because I'm your daddy. You know, it's like, my son just made an argument that makes perfect sense, but my pride would not let me say, you know what, son, you got a good point, I was wrong. No. They say, you know what, don't, hey, look, don't question me, I'm your daddy. Now I'm right even if I am wrong. Just got here, can't tell, been here, nothing. That kind of stuff. So the reality is, there's been people where I might lay out a beautiful argument of why something either makes sense or don't make sense. And at the end of that, I'm thinking, this is airtight. I'm going, how could any practical, logical person? And I'm going, how could you see it any other way than this? This should be game over. It should be tap out. And they would still be like, man, I don't need to see it that way. Can't say why. This is now, I don't need to see it that way. Pride, lack of courage. Uh, America just needs, especially black America, needs some more. Uh, they need to understand the power that comes in being freed from that mentality. Because if they understood the power that comes from being freed from the desire that they and the desire for a blind, the, the, the blind emotion, the blind uh, uh, allegiance to the Democrat Party, if they understood the freedom that would come from them and their kids. To their grandkids, and the kind of change that can happen when people put on both uh, put on both shoes and realize I can go make whatever I want of myself in this life, regardless of who's out there saying what. The kind of freedom and power that comes from that, if they understood that, they would run towards that kind of freedom. And and, the, and, and it'll be easier to swallow the, the, the pride. It'd be easier to say they're wrong if they understood the power that was in admitting they were wrong and actually coming over to the side of freedom. That's what it is. It's freedom. It is. It's kind of like, it reminds me of how, through slavery, how at some point, the majority of slaves just got content. 
and said, man, you know what? It's useless. We can't get out of this. In fact, it's kind of safe here on the plantation. I don't know what's happening. You know, we sit here, 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 we don't do anything, we're not going to get beat. Right. Yeah. We might as well accept this life. Yep. You know, and then, when Harriet and all of them, as a matter of fact, I think you've heard it said, I freed X amount of slaves and would have been able to free more if they just knew that they were slaves. And so, when you look at black conservatives, that freedom is like people talk about, man, y'all sellouts, y'all Uncle Tom's. I'm going, I feel great. Because I'm walking around. <laughs> I'm walking around. Yeah, I mean, trust me, y'all might think y'all looking at us like, I, I'm so sorry for them. I feel bad for them. We really looking at y'all like, I feel so bad for them. They're slaves and don't know it. We're trying to help Right. And then, yes, and, and it's the same thing happened, man. When the, when the slaves would go back to try to free them, before you could free them physically, you had to free them mentally. And so you said, come on, Kippa, we can go up north and be free. And Kippa talking about what we pray. How are they going to survive? Exactly. Who's going to feed us? Master here, he gives us the last part of the pig. Sometimes he let us have a little hold down. Well, well. Master treat us good. So one time I almost got to step inside the house. Almost. I was just close. I was just close. Master won't let me go home. I looked inside. I did. I leaned inside. I didn't yeah. quite get inside though. One time, yeah. he, he never, but I was just close. Yeah. Master said, Bucks and Sugar, I done threw up on my porch. Come and clean this up here. I said, Sure, there, Master. I run up there, I start cleaning that vomit up, uh -huh. and look right inside the gate. I look right in the gate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you tell you crazy, you tell me to leave, Master. Man, I ain't going to I don't need to leave this paradise. Right. And you know what? Matter of fact, I'm going to shame you. Who want me to leave? That's right. <laughs> Let's get on. Who are you the one to leave? Right. Master, oh, take good care of us. Right. You was crazy, man. You one of them crazy Negro. That's your crazy Negro. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. That's so the mentality. It's exactly what's going on this day. Wow. Black conservatives are out there saying, listen, man, y'all are... And, and some of them, I can't even blame them because I can see the sincerity. There's a lot of black people in their heart, they like, man, I really believe this and I'm, I'm thinking I'm doing the right. So it's not like they're being malicious or whatever. But once you know the data, let you know the data. Then you got to start saying, okay. You have to choose to then want to stay right. ignorant and now stay you're saying, in I am a willful, ignorant person. I, I'm, I'm dumb for nothing. That's what I call it. I'm dumb for nothing. Dumb for okay? nothing. Wow. Right. I'm content being in the matrix. That's what I am. Even though I know all I got to do is just pop the pill and I can come out. But it's, it's easier here. It's easier. Yeah. Because let me tell you something, man. I think it takes more strength and bravery to stray away from the sheep. Step out on your own and be able to talk freely about your, your opinion. Well, you know what somebody once said? They said, you know what y'all are as Trump supporters? Y'all just believe everything he tell y'all. I said, no, what he says, we already believe. Yes. We just never said it or had a politician who said it. it. Right. Politicians don't say it. Right. So he ain't convincing us of nothing. He's simply echoing the stuff that we already believe. Yeah. So we always been free thinkers. Like drain the swamp. Drain the swamp. We know I'm it's a cesspool. Said, man, it's a cesspool. It's a cesspool. Somebody yeah. need to clean that mess up. Political elites. Right. You know, in their own pockets. Right. And so it's Selling us and black folk down the river for right votes. Right down the vote. And that, that, that's another thing, Bernie, yeah. man. I mean, I see Cory Booker and all of them. Yeah. In the yep. 60s. Yep. As much as black people love Malcolm until he, to that message. See, when they drop, I show that message, I remember but Malcolm, you know, I was dead on Malcolm, no, he wasn't, and I'm going, no. Malcolm, Malcolm saw was, something happening, and y'all didn't see it. He called you, you know, traitors to your own race. Own to, yeah, exactly. You Both see how they got black there, and Democrat, traitors to their own race. Yes, own race. And how long after that was he shot and murdered? Exactly. And who was behind all those assassinations and slavery and fighting against every policy to free blacks, Democrats. 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 So y'all want us to believe now that they just had to change their heart. And you know what's great marketing man? It's amazing how they went from being viewed as the racist, Ku Klux Klan oppression party. They threw that in, in, in short, 
started the started the Democrat. Exactly. A Democrat in a short period of time successfully managed to convince a large group of black and minorities that all of a sudden the all of those races movement. decided to say, "Now let's switch over to the Democratic Party," and then all of those that memo never went out. It never went out. It never went out. That's because it never happened. All they did is this marketing. Great marketing. You know what they were saying? They were saying our company looks horrible to the public's eye, so we're going to act like we shut it down and just bring a new name up. That's it. But the same people still run it. The same people. Yeah, we still got the same business practices. We just changed the name and then put out some stuff like this company focuses on people and helping you. You want to be helped, don't you? Everybody else is against you. Tell you what, come in, come in. We'll give you stuff. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy it. Tell us your problems. We'll make you dependent. Yeah. Let's make we'll you dependent you on us. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know what? All we want, we don't want your money. Put it away. Your money is no good. Here. It's no good. What we want is your loyalty and your vote. Can, can I count on that? Can I count on that? Nope. Don't open that book. Close the book. You don't, don't read about laws. Don't read it. Don't read about policy. Don't read it. Okay? Now I'm going to tell you. Don't, don't read who don't opposed read. the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment. Don't, don't, don't you do it. Don't read it. Not don't unless you want us to take away all these know stats and treaties. What the 13th, 14th Amendment is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you start know. reading stuff, one, we're going to have so all the other ones on the plantation attack you. That's right. Okay? And then two, we're going to snatch away all the treats we can give you. That's what we're going to do. Now, you can either be ignorant, comfortable, and continue to vote for us, or get high and flute. Hmm? Yeah. You want to get high and flute, don't you? Yeah. And then that's when we're going to have to assassinate you. We're going to have to cut your head off. That's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to do it because we're going to act like we're for equal justice for all. We're going to have your own people. And they do. Yeah. So as soon as you step out. I just tweeted that. Yep. More black folks are lynching black folks today. Day than white folks ever did. Yep. But the white folks, they're cheering them on because the blacks getting lynched are conservatives. Yep. Y'all might want to commit that one to memory. Okay, the next time y'all like, man, Kanye West, man. Uh, Kanye West, prime example. Yep. Blacks immediately wanted to kill him, kill yep. his, his identity, call him, call him Uncle Tom, say he wasn't black. They were lynching his personality, they were lynching his identity because he came out and said, oh, all black folks don't have to vote there. Right. And I like the way that girl Candace Owens thinks. Yeah. That's it. See? So that reminds me kind of of our scenario we were talking about earlier, about how to stay. You know what? I want to be free. I'm about to bounce. No, you ain't. Because you're going to mess it up for all of us. Exactly. That's right. And then, see, Massa can't have. He can't have. Y'all starting to think independently. Okay. okay. See, too many of y'all, if it start to spread, and the rest of y'all, then we looking at an uprising. And it's going to mess up Massa's ability to use y'all to pick that cotton and use y'all to bail that hate. You know? And see, now the slavery's over like that. They going, you know what? We're going to swap that plantation out for the voting booths. That's, right. That's the one we need. That's the new plantation. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. So me and my man here want to drop a little knowledge on y'all in Kevin's Corner. You're going to be seeing more of us doing some stuff together. Uh, in fact, there's some heavy hitters down here. Well, I don't know if we're up here crossing. I don't know. I'm, I got to work on my, my my geography. I don't know. I'm like, uh, where is it? Cross. around. Yeah, I'm up, down. I don't know. But uh, I think out west. Out west, California is it's cool. south for me, because I'm from Northern Cali, so. Okay, south for you? Yeah. Well, we call that out southeast. west. Southeast. Southeast? But this would be out west for y'all. Okay. Yeah. I know it's hot. It is That's hot. what I do know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the road runner in the Cali <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm meet, there somewhere. Meet. Yeah, he's out there. Yeah, meet me. Oh. Roadrunner's out there. Where is he at? <laughs> anyway, listen, tell them where they can find you out on, on, on your, your social media. You can find me. My biggest platform is Facebook. It's David J. Harris Jr. You can also find me there on uh, YouTube and Instagram and Twitter. It's all the same. David J. Harris Jr. Got it. Y'all know where to find me at, Kevin and Kevin's Corner. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. All my links are in the bottom. If you want to support Kevin's Corner, there's links in the bottom to do so. And we will see you next time. Support this man. He's Thank changing you so the world. Much. God bless. Love you. Love you, my friend. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you.